All right. So, you guys seen the videos where Kias are being stolen in droves. Um, and the manufacturer is actually reacting. They're doing something about it. But the invention of the immobilizer has been for as long as I can remember. Are you that cheap to put an immobilizer in your car so it's a little bit, just a tiny bit harder to steal? No. No. They want to cheap out. So all these people that are getting their cars stolen. Um, now you're definitely going to be losing customers to other brands um, that actually, you know, care about their consumers. Good job. But um, so this is their fix. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not like it's going to work because there's certain models or older models that's not going to be able to take the set fix. And these cars are just... The only way you can stop your car from being stolen is, one, if it's a manual transmission. Because not a lot of these young cats know how to drive a manual transmission. That is fact. It's a very small, minuscule amount of people to drive manuals. So if you have a manual Kia, I think you're in, you got, you're in the right step. Other things you can do is you can install a car alarm, um... You could install those um, kill switches, etc. But all that stuff will, you know, cost money. But, you know, even the club. There you go. You can get the club. <laughs> Listen. Come here a second. Just, just come here. Just get real close. Yeah. That's close. I've been driving cars for a really long time. Long times? Time. And if thieves want your said vehicle, they're going to get it. There's nothing you can do. If they want it bad enough, they're going to get it. Whether they're going to tow your shit away or they're going to get it. And especially with new technologies. Now, these cars are so sophisticated. They're supposed to be secure, but... I've seen people steal Teslas within a few minutes. I've seen people steal brand new cars like this, like quickly. Because all they have to do is put a receiver by your house because your key, I don't know, I don't have my keys here. I was going to put it on. Because your key has, um, especially those, you know, remoteless, you know, controls or whatever. Your key has um, the signal that it's always putting out. So somebody can easily just put like a receiver by your house and then the other person is holding the other end and that signal gets transferred over to the other one and they can get in your car, they can turn on your car and they can drive away. I've seen that happen. It's literally like seconds. That's why this is just just this is just stupid from the manufacturer. They they fucking cheaped out. That's what it is. They they cheaped out. <clears throat> but anyway, let's go. According to Hyundai, the anti-theft software upgrade is designed to prevent vehicles from starting during a method of theft popularized on TikTok and other social media channels. This represents the first major response from the from the company to fix problem that affects vehicles without push button ignition and immobilizing anti-theft devices produce before November 2021. It's crazy that they're cutting corners like this. For as long as I remember, like all my cars have mobilizers built into them. Hell, you know, my Honda, um, the CRV that we have, it's a 2005, and the keys are specifically designed. Like Honda keys are, are thick. They're thick keys, so they're not that easy to replicate. And then on top of that, you have your mobilizer. That's also within the same key. You know, like, it doesn't matter which one. It's a 2005. It has an immobilizer. We're talking about 20, what is it, 2015 to 2019, 2017 to 2020 vehicles. Crazy. 
crazy. They are cheaping out. They're they're cheaping out super hard right there. But unfortunately, now they're gonna have to pay for it. Um, the consumer has lost lost trust in them. If you haven't lost trust in them a long time ago, I don't know what's wrong with you. You may be just a little bit sick like me, cause you like to take chances with Korean vehicles. I am just just taking a little bit of chance. But so far, so good. Nothing crazy. The car hasn't blown up on me yet. Thank God. Moving on. Hyundai previously prompted owners of impacted models to purchase a third-party security kit from dealership, which cost $170 plus more than $500 for installation. Thankfully, the software upgrade is free of charge and can be installed by Hyundai dealers within, within less than an hour. Now, why couldn't they just put out the immobilizers? Why didn't they just install it? I'll tell you why, man. Because they're cutting corners. They're cutting costs. And these are just, you know, this is their, their, their crappy vehicles, I guess. Because this isn't their, their big major sellers, like their SUVs and stuff like that. Um, like the Elantra and the Sonata, they're not the best looking cars but I wouldn't buy any of those. Um, with a large number of the remaining affected vehicles followed by June. Oh my God, this is just not good. Modify certain vehicle control mod 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 modules, activating an ignition kill feature when the owner locks the doors using the key fob. This feature can only be deactivated when the key fob is used to unlock the vehicle, meaning that whoever breaks in won't be able to start it. Owners of the eligible Hyundai models will also get a fancy window decal. <laughs> I guess that's what this came from. <laughs> Do not enter. <laughs> oh. God, that is hilarious. I need to give you one of these decals. Put it in my car. <laughs> oh, good stuff there. <laughs> Anyways, where are we at? Mm, whoever breaks in will be where it started. Oh, fancy window decal notifying potential thieves presence of enhanced anti-theft technology so they don't bother causing damage to the vehicle. People are still going to be pieces of shit at the end of the day. They can damage their vehicle because they're frustrated because they can't steal it. I don't know. I don't know. People are just, you know, some people just have a lot of screws loose, but most of these, you know, anti-theft thing just kicked off on TikTok and everybody wanted to do it. Um, it's just... The only way you can either do it is you can spend a little bit of money and buy those anti-theft, you know, device and put it in your car or um, get yourself one of those, you know, the club or also the ones that's, um, that you can put on your, um, your brake pedal. I don't know what that one is called, but they used to advertise it a long time ago, like a lot on TV. I don't know what it's called, but you can put it on your brake and pull it up. And you won't be able to press on the brake pedal. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are some 2011, 2022 model Hyundai vehicles without engine immobilizers that are not compatible with the formation upgrade. The owners of those models will be able to get reimbursed by Hyundai for the purchase of a steering wheel locks. The company is finalizing program We'll announce more information soon, but it is already giving away free steering wheel locks to law enforcement agency for, distri for distribution to local residents who own or lease affected models. So here's my advice to you. If you have any of these vehicles, they're terrible cars anyway. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get yourself a Toyota. Even though you're going to pay a little bit more, you'll be much much happier it comes with immobilizers pretty much any honda that you buy comes with immobilizers you know it, this is insane it's a 2017 to 2020 elantras 2015 to 2019 
Sonatas. So it's a long list of vehicles here. Look at that. Even a 2022 Santa Fe doesn't have a fucking immobilizer. Wow. They're even cheaping out on their, bre you know, what is that thing called? Like the, um, their top of the line, sort of. Well, they're cream of the crop, you know, like the SUVs. Looks like they're chipping, chip, cheaping out over there, too. It's not available on the Kona, Palisade, Santa Fe Sport, Santa Fe, Santa Fe XL. <clears throat> Veloster. So it's it's a lot of cars, man. This is just terrible. I feel sorry for the people that purchased these vehicles. You shouldn't have bought it. You should have known those Koreans are taking shortcuts, you know. But then again, some Americans' cars are taking shortcuts too because they're built outside of the country. They're built in Mexico. I'm talking to you, Ford. When you're gonna up those quality. But anyway. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate every single one of you for watching the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Have a blessed night.